Welcome everyone to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. Time for a Saturday at Hall, guys. Today is the day usually where I go through all the stuff I have picked up during the week from our various retailers around the country and far and wide. So from Toys Arama this week, I received what could be the first of many Action Force. Star Swarm Trooper. Now just a quick one on these. Look at that back. It straight away takes you back to my childhood where you can have all the little figures on the back and everything. And I can't wait to crack this guy open. It's going to be a lot of fun. And from Toy Trash, this needs to be opened. So as always, get your knife out. Get your knife out. And again, guys, just be careful not to cut any fingers, thumbs or appendages off because you kind of need them in day-to-day -day life, you know. So yeah, with that, I get the first one open. And apologies for all the whipping and tearing. So this, my first package is the TMNT, Rasputin and Genghis. And for those of you keeping score at home, I did get the other two for Christmas from my mother of all people. So very happy to complete the Punk Frogs. And Napoleon and Attila will be delighted with that. So the second package from Toy Trash. This was gotten in their Boxing Day sale by the way. So it did work out quite cheap. For me, I did get a bit of customs, but nothing major. I think it was about 15 pounds or euros, sorry. So it was actually not too bad at all. And it still worked out quite cheap. So whilst I was there, I picked up the Triceraton Infantryman and Roadkill Rodney. These guys used to piss me off so much in the arcade game years ago. When they used to wrap their, their electric tenders around you. And electrocute you, but I'm very happy to have these two. I still have the old version of Triceraton in a box somewhere far, far away in another planet. But uh, these look really cool. Delighted to get more of the TMNT line. And as always, the end of week without Big Bang Comics, guys. So let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Try your best not to slice fingers and stuff. Because tempting as that may be and you can probably skip this part if you want some people love unboxing as always with big bang comics there's always so much packaging and you're you never never get damaged figures from them you get all this packaging stuff to throw in the bin later so first off there is this one and i know that, like if this is a live stream i could probably get someone to guess to card it so you guess away in your little heads what this is. And again, bubble wrap with an inch of its life. And this is a figure I've been waiting for for so long. It is a proper comic series, Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm so happy to have this figure finally. You cannot believe how happy I am to have this guy. I've been waiting for comic Doctor Strange since years ago when I stepped into my friend Declan Costello's house. And I bought his Toy Biz Doctor Strange from him. I'm sure they will remember that. But um, since then... Okay. What else have we got? So much, so much tape. I need a knife again. And this, my friends, is the Spider-Man Retro Series. Hammerhead. Oh, Hasbro were a bit slow off the ball getting this one over here. But um, this is actually part of the Christmas present. So I'm very happy to finally get Hammerhead. First time with Veron tin as well. And I'm half tempted to buy a second one to put Norman Osborne's head on there. So I am going to test that before I do that. But um, yeah, Hammerhead. And last but not least, this was like the last minute decision once I got the punk frogs okay. let's get the back box off my uh, he's a spicy meatball on this one so this is from the TMNT line and it is the colossal chrome dome from NECA toys absolutely huge so damn big. Again, that's what she said. 
But um, yeah, guys, I decided fairly last minute to get this fella, and I am not disappointed. Absolutely huge. You can check out the box there. I did this damage opening it, nobody else. And yeah, I wouldn't mind getting young Casey as well. I cannot remember what his name was. But anyway, guys, that's been my haul for today. Quite a big haul indeed. And I'm looking forward to getting those opened, reviewed, and up on the channel for you guys. So let me know what you think in the comments. Which one would you like to see first? And we'll see you later, guys. Have a great day. Bye.